Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the paper pumpkin. This is the June 2023 Welcome In Paper Pumpkin Kit. Yes, we are about to get into this. It was a delay in shipping, so it's kind of late, but it's here. Um, just a reminder, we do have an add-on for this kit with the Welcome In dies. So if you purchase these, be sure to get them out when you get your paper pumpkin kit. So let's just do a reminder. It was three little dies here. So we're going to see what those will coordinate with. But before we open up our kit, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So let's start with the paper pumpkin kit for July. Fun in the sun. You have until July 10th to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit that is going to make nine cards. Um, of course, with a summertime theme, and you're going to get a Daffodil Delight stamping spot, okay? Be sure to click the link in the description to subscribe to the Paper Pumpkin. Next up, we have our 15% off sale for the Designer Series paper that ends at the end of June, okay? So basically, almost all of the Designer Series paper in the annual catalog is on sale, uh, including one online exclusive Designer Series paper, the Hello Irresistible. So it's, I think it's about 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 13 designer series papers that are on sale. Don't miss out on that. Okay, this is our June host code for 2023. This is the code I want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you'll qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stampin' Up! And we don't want you to miss out on that. However, if you're going to order $150, I suggest that you go ahead and get our starter kit for $99 plus tax. Shipping will be free and you'll earn, um, not earn, but you'll get an extra $30 more to put in your kit. So the kit, you usually get $125 worth of product. But during the month of June, you're going to get $155 worth of product. And we say worth of product, we mean whatever products you want to put in there. So whatever you want, you can put in here including the designer series paper that is 15% off, okay? Lastly, we have our mystery boxes. These are the boxes that I have packed myself in the Priority Mail USPS boxes. This is the a medium flat rate box. I stuffed it with about plus or minus $200 worth of Stampin' Up! products. They're all retired, some are new, some are used. I'm only asking $40 for each box about half of that is going towards shipping, so you're only really paying about 20 bucks for the box. I can only ship in the U.S. and all sales are final. Now, let's get to this paper pumpkin kit. Yes, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so here's our Knight of Navy stamping spot. Our cute little stamp set. Can you see this? It says, thank you for your hospitality welcome you're invited and friend i don't know i need some white but you should be able to see that it's really pretty so it's a vase some florals and a flower a stem then a sentiment really cute okay this kit coordinates with the countryside in suite of products in our annual catalog so this is just talking about the coordination and then this is talking about next month's paper pumpkin kit. Isn't this cute? Summertime fun. Okay, let's get this kit opened. Ooh, the paper is always so nice. This one feels softer than normal. Ooh. Let's get this to the side here so we can see what we have. Okay, here's... Oh, my goodness. We're not going to go through the products yet. Let's get it open <laughs> and flip it over so we can see what we're going to be making. Cute stuff. Okay, this is the instruction sheet. These are the three designs that we're going to be making. So this is nine cards, three each of three different designs with some coordinating envelopes. The colors that coordinate with this kit are Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy and Old Olive. 
here are a couple of alternate projects they's, they have made. This is what the kit includes, all of the things you see there. And here are the instructions. Okay, so let's go through and see what we have. So we have some tear and tape. That's nice. Always nice to get some adhesive. We have some dimensional strips instead of uh, dimensional like little dots. They're strips. So we have two different lengths. Okay. Then we have our little embellishments. These are so cute and they're really flat. So that's a good thing. Here are those cute coordinating envelopes. Let's see. So they're just plain on the inside. So you're only gonna get the de um, design on the outside. That's okay, they're still super cute. And let's move this stuff to the side so we can start putting our items out here. Okay, so we're gonna, let me see, we have three of these. So we're only gonna need one. So we're gonna put that here. Let's go ahead and pop these out. Oh, this is a card base. I thought this was gonna be, um... <laughs> I don't know why I thought designer series paper because this looks like the countryside in designer series paper, that's why. We're gonna go ahead and fold this card base and burnish it with our bone folder. So that's one. Okay, and like I said, you get three of each one, so you have two more. Here's some more elements. You get two sheets of these, but we're sh and I think we're gonna need two of them, maybe. I think, we'll see, I think we're gonna need two. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop out two, because I'm looking at the instruction sheet to see. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Oh my good, this is the exact paper in the DSP it looks like, but in the, the Calypso Coral, this is pretty. I like this. Okay, so we have that. I think this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. And we're gonna have these on here, I think. We'll see. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself because everything is, ooh. Okay, so there's three of these. Okay. Ooh, ooh. So, ooh, man. I don't know. I'm just going to pop everything out because I don't know what we're going to need. These are cute. And the hello, hello friend. And this comes out of the inside of there. Oh, it's a frame. Okay, and do we need this? Is this gonna be an inside? I don't know. We're gonna get, okay, and this is our last card base. It's just the Knight of Navy card base. Now, of course, for alternate, you can cut these in half, use them as layers, since they are decorated all the way on the front and back. Here's some labels and banners. So we're gonna need one of these to go here. We're gonna need one of these to go here, along with this. We're gonna need this to go here. And this little yellow one, I don't know, but we will put it here. That's what our instructions are for, okay? <laughs> so I'm just looking at the picture for some of these. Oh, I see where this one goes, it goes here. Okay. So we're gonna just sit everything to the side that we know is what's what. So let's go ahead and flip our instructions over and we're going to get, oh, that's what I wanna do. So that's how you put it together, but what I want is this. What I need for each um, card. Okay, so for this one, I have basically everything I need. So we need that, and what sentiment, thank you for your hospitality. So let's go ahead and get that one out. Thank you for your hospitality. Then we're gonna need 
the vase for this one. Move that. So we're going to need our vase. Get some blocks here. And then for this one, we're going to need this. I'm going to get a D block for that big one. Um, It doesn't show what sentiment is on here. I'm sure we need a sentiment. So let me turn this back. It says welcome. We need the welcome sentiment. This is tiny. Okay. So we're going to be using the welcome. That's a big block. Let's see. There we go. All right. So now I think we have everything. Now we can start with number one. Let's move this stuff to the side. So we are going to get this piece here. And we're going to stamp happy no thank you for all your hospitality let me get my knight of navy stamping pad thank you for your hospitality i didn't put that on there too central you know i always clean my stamp now our photopolymer stamps don't have the extra cushion behind it so you should use your little um foam mat but this um, padding i have on my desk has the cushion in it that's why you always see me use photopolymer without the mat because my desk already has that on there. So we're going to, oh, don't stamp it upside down though. We're going to stamp this on here, right at the bottom, just like that. And it says to put some tear and tape on the back of this. And on the back of this, let's move this ink out of the way. So where's my tear and tape? So we're gonna put tear and tape, okay, only on the back of this. Is this tear and tape? Oh, it's not tearing, <laughs> so we're gonna cut it. Okay, so we're gonna put tape on the back of that. We're gonna get our card base here, and we're gonna go ahead and adhere this down, straight down the middle of your card, like so. Then we're going to take this little vase here and we're going to put, um, this is one of the design vase that was already done. We need some of our little dimensional things. So we're going to use the long ones. A couple of these long ones we need two on this portion. So we're going to put them Put them, put them, put them like that. We're gonna get some of these little shorter ones and put here and here and here. If I can get it off my finger. Okay. So then, so then and then and then, we are going to add this to our card. Just like this. Ooh, you don't want it to be cricket. You guys know me and straight. We don't really get along. So <laughs> if my stuff's a little wonky, you have to forgive me. So the small end of this is the bottom of the vase. And we're just going to put this right here at the bottom of those flowers. Just like that. That's kind of cute. And we're going to need three of our little embellishments here. Get my take your pick tool, get out the way here. And we're gonna put three of these on. So we have two here. And one over here. This is cute. I like that. Okay, let's move on. Move on, because you know I will dwell on looking at something because it's super cute. <laughs> okay, card number two. So card number two, we're going to do some stamping on this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where is it? There it is. Oh, got stuff sticking. So let's get that on our block straight. 
rub off some of that um, factory. Let me get a piece of scrap because I need to, this is a more solid stamp. I wanna do some practice stamping to make sure this ink is doing pretty much what it's supposed to do. Okay, so now let's go ahead and stamp, excuse my head and everything else that might be in the way. Stamp on that. And we don't need a sentiment for this one because it's the one that they provided for us. Let's move that. So we're gonna be using this card base and we're gonna take this and Hmm, I think on this one, we're gonna put the tear and tape. So we're gonna do this. And I guess I should just call it roll tape because it's not really tear and tape because it's not tearing. It says to put two strips on there. And then we're gonna put, take our little frame here. And we're gonna put these um, strips on it some dimensional strips so that's gonna pop pop this frame up a bit give our card some dimension I'm always happy about that so we want to use some short ones for the other sides of this okay so now I have all of the dimensionals on and the backings off we are going to layer this over our shape here just like that we're gonna put some dimensional on the back of this and we're going to put this right here like so then we're going to take some more of this tape and put it on the back of our little sentiment banner here let me get my scissors okay whoop Peel the backing off of this. And this is gonna go across our base, about right here, just like that. Hmm, I don't like that. I want more. <laughs> oh no, I doubled it up by mistake. They stuck together, so let me get off, get off. And just get one. I don't like the way it's flopping around at the top here. There we go. Okay, so then I'm gonna peel this off. We're gonna stick this in the middle of our card like this. That's super cute. And we're gonna take three of the embellishments here. We're gonna put one there. Hmm. One right here, and one down here. That's cute, these cards are cute. Okay, now we're down to our last one. So let's go ahead and switch to this. So we're gonna stamp welcome in this little frame here. So let's get that. We wanna rub anything off that might be on there. Welcome. What is the other sentiment? You can put welcome. Your invited or friend. Okay, so let's do welcome like they have it. Just like that. Okay, so we have that stamping done. We're going to take one of the plain... Um, cutouts that doesn't have the flowers in it oh let's see here I thought we were stamping on this oh I need scrap paper what we're gonna do is take one of the blank vases if I can pick it up we're gonna take one of the um plain vases and we're gonna take this floral image and just stamp across the bottom of it that's cute didn't practice stamp on that because <laughs> that's pretty. And we're just going to stamp across the bottom. 
like that. Oh, how cute. Okay, and I think that's all the stamping. So we're gonna take this and one of the pre-designed vases and those are both gonna get tape. So we're gonna put those down with some of this roll tape here. And then, and then, and then, our long little um, banner here is going to get some of this roll tape. Okay. And I don't think you should go all the way to the ends. I'm not sure. And this sentiment and the vase the tall vase that they gave us those are going to get popped up so we're going to use some of our dimensionals here it says to just put one but uh, I think I'm going to use three on that just because I want to This one, I'll cut it in half. Okay, so now what are we doing? Roll tape on the back of this. And I think that's all the adhesive, everything is Put together the way it's supposed to be so now let's take the piece of backing off of this here and this card is going to be this way and we're going to center this on here like so then we're going to take our vases i'm going to put one about here this is going to go in the middle and this one about right there then we're going to put down where's our little banner here okay so we're going to put this down mm, just underneath those vases showing a little bit of our oh let's try to center that a little better about like that Okay, then we're going to get our sentiment here and pop this up. We're going to pop this up right here, a little bit below our uh, main frame there, but right in the middle. Oop, oop. Come on. It's going to hang down just slightly like that. And where did our vase go? Oh no, oh here it is. <laughs> How did that get way over there? So we're gonna get our vase here. And we're gonna pop this up right in the middle. Like that. We're gonna get our little dots here. I'm gonna put one here. One about here. And one there okay you guys that is it these are the three cards that this kit makes they're super cute let's move all of our junk out of the way these are cute right don't you like it so let's get those dies out again where are they everything is all so the dies as we can see they're going to cut out the vase it has just an extra little leaf here and then the flower that's in the stamp set we did not use, but it's going to cut that flower out. So that'd be cute. That's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. <laughs>